Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. This is our reading for June the 1st. Welcome to June. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Today's reading is entitled, A Clear Reminder. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord God. Thank you for being here, for being able to share, Lord, as well as receive. Thank you for the comments and the blessings of encouragement. And Lord, may you continue to grow this channel, grow me, groom me for um, my time here, Lord God. May I always be a blessing by your grace. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. And I'd like to also say welcome to our new subscribers. Um, I think it's like 488 of us now, amen, praise the Lord. And so I'm just so glad that all of you are here. And our scripture lesson for a clear reminder, amen, is from Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. And it reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. A story it was written by Margot Peterson. She writes, I love to walk. Morning or afternoon walks are my favorite. Amen. I have turned most of my walks into prayer walks. I pray for my family near and far, for their prayer requests and for my own. Prayer walks have become my favorite time to reflect on the scriptures, things happening in my life, changes I would like to see happen in my life and where God wants me to be. Amen. Amen. If I'm not praying on my walk, I catch up on listening to sermons, seminars, or a book. One of my routine walks. On one of my routine walks, I petition the Lord for his help in bringing success to my son as he represented his high school at the Business Professionals of America, the BPA competition at the state level. My specific request was for God to show my son he loves him and that he would place first and be selected to move on to the national level. My son has discovered his passion for business. He was well prepared by his high school coach and excited to compete in order to demonstrate his career skills. The morning of the event, we prayed and I reminded him to depend on God for helping him through prayer. We claimed the promise, my help cometh from the Lord, which, have made, which made heaven and earth. That Psalms 121 and verse 2. Recently, I was reminded that our petitions should not be presented to God to prove whether he will fulfill his word. Rather, God will fulfill our petitions because he loves us. This came as a clear reminder that God responds to us in love. Whether he grants our petition or requests, or not, uh, excuse me, excuse me, whether he grants our requests or not. I remember my prayers for my son as he participated in the BPA competition. A preferable prayer request would have been for God to help my son increase his faith in God. As it turned out, God was preparing his answer even before I prayed. Ultimately, my son successfully competed and entered the BPA com competition at the national level. There was so much excitement in his voice as he shared the good news. It made my heart glad when he added, thank you, God. My son shared with the family that it had not been as difficult as he had thought, and now he is, he is excited to move on to the nationals in Florida. This was her prayer. Dear Lord, may I remember your love regardless of how you answer my prayer. Amen. Again, our story today was by Margot Peterson. And you know what, family? 
Um, that's the type of experience that some of us have at different times. We pray and we ask the Lord, um, oh well, that we present our request to the Lord. And sometimes in our minds, we hope that God fixes it and works out our way, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes the Lord does answer the prayer, but it's according to his will. And then it's us, up to us, up to us to accept his will. So just a little note from a personal level, um, learning always day by day um, to pray according to his will. Sometimes I forget. But most times I remember him. And when I found that when I pray according to his will, it builds my trust and my hope and my faith in him. So I hope sharing this with you all that um, maybe it's a blessing to, of encouragement to you. I pray so it is. And I know daily we are growing day by day. So blessing and healing and restoration. Um, um, belated Sabbath blessings as the sun has set but um, I just want to wish you all to have a good day I hope you had a, a have and continue to have a great weekend this is Miss Norma signing off and by his grace I will see you all later or on tomorrow for our reading for June to June the 2nd have a good night family this is Miss Norma and remember Say it with me. The greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I love you. Good night, family.